This is a Rally Armor mud flap install on a 2012 Mazda 3. Uh, we got the mud flaps both front and rear there in the package. This is how it came right from Rally Armor. Installation instructions and a hardware kit. Uh, you don't have to, but where you jacked up the car, took the wheel off, and it makes it a little bit easier to get into the wheel well to get the mud flap on. First thing to do is to get this uh, inner wheel well flap out of here and uh, unfastened. You got four screws, one, two, three, four, and then you got three on the back side of it there. You want to go ahead and get a Phillips head screwdriver and get all seven of those out. You got it recording? Yeah. All right, some of these fasteners can be kind of hard to get undone. So what you might have to do is pry up underneath the flange there on the bolt and then unscrew it because when you just screw on it, it'll just screw and screw and screw and won't come actually come out because it needs back pressure for the fastener to come out. So if it's just screwing and turning and turning and twisting and not coming out, just give it a little pressure on the back side and then screw it and the screw will pop out just like that and then the whole fastener pops right out just like that. Once you get all seven fasteners removed you can move the flap here, the inner wheel fender and then you're going to want to get the uh, screws there, those fasteners on the back side of the tab here of where the old one went so they just clip right on so that it gives you a threaded adapter on the back side to put the screw into. And you do that down at the bottom there on the side and then the third one uh, right there. The fourth one you do not put a clip on you put the old stock fastener back in on the fourth one up at the top. Once you have the clips on the back go ahead and put the mud flap on with the logo facing backwards and then you have three washers and three screws that mount up with the holes on the flap. Uh, washer goes on the outside, the inner wheel well fender goes behind the mud flap, and then you have the metal wall here of the actual car. You're going to want to get all three uh, started, but not tightened down completely until you have the mud flap nice and level uh, with the bottom of the ground so that the mud flap is not angled or tilted. Then once you have it lined up straight, go ahead and fasten all three screws uh, nice and tight there on the uh, wheel well. Once you get the uh, mud flap on there, you want to take the stock fasteners and put them back up, the uh, fourth one up top there, and then the three in the wheel well here. Uh, if you do break some or smash some, I have one here that got smashed because it wouldn't come out. We just took it out. You can afford to lose up to three on each side because you don't reuse them for the three holes here on the mud flap. So if you do destroy a couple or there's a couple that won't come out that you got to just grab with players and pop out, uh, you're, you're okay. So just take your four fasteners, put them back in for the fender, inner fender, and uh, everything's back together. And you can put the wheel back on. Alright, we're on to the rear now. And you have uh, one 8 millimeter nut here on the bottom of the bumper that you have to unscrew. And then... Uh, Right here you have a big nut that's a plastic nut that unscrews there. And then you have another 8 millimeter here. And then a small little uh, Phillips head fastener up here that just turns out and then pops out. And then you can take the uh, inner fender off. For the rear on the passenger side it's a little bit different. It has a uh, second inner fender that covers the fuel pump. And you have one fastener there, one fastener up here at the top, and then the actual screw here in the middle um, goes on the outside and screws the fender uh, to the other fender on the inside here. And then that'll come right out, and then it'll be the same as on the other side with just the one inner wheel fender. In order to get the inner fender out, uh, you pull it off the stud over here that sticks out of the wheel well. And then these two little clips over here, it'll just clip right off. You can see the clips there. And you just pull towards the inside of the car and it pops right off. Then you just have the bumper cover exposed and your inner wheel fender is off. Once you have the inner wheel fender out, you have to 
cut off these little tabs here. You can see it there and then down here. Uh, there's actually three of them, a top, a middle, and a bottom. You want to cut off the bottom and the middle one. Those are the two mounting points for the mud flap. So uh, take a razor blade or a set of side cutters and cut that little notch there off and then you're going to drill two quarter inch holes. One at the very bottom and then one in the middle and you leave the top one alone and you don't do anything to the top one. Once you have the holes drilled in the inner fender, uh, pop it back in here and you want to make sure that these holes here line up with the slotted hole that's on the bumper cover for both the bottom and the middle one here. And uh, once those line up, you take your little L bracket that it has supplied and you use the um, stock mounting bolt and stock position there and screw it in with the slotted part down and then just the round hole there in front. Once you get the uh, flap up there, you take your uh, long screw and washer and put it through the hole of the mud flap and then the hole that you created on the inner fender that goes through the bumper cover. And then you have a 12 millimeter nut here that's going to go on the back of that screw inside the bumper cover. So we're going to go ahead and put that on and I'll show you what that looks like from the inside of the bumper cover. Alright, this is what the back of the inner fender looks like. You can see the screw sticking through with the 12 millimeter lock nut on there. You just tighten those down. On the bottom here, you can see the stock mounting point, and then that's the mud flap there, and you can see where the bottom part of the mud flap is going to mount. In order to mount the bottom of the mud flap here, you want to take your polygon clip and put it over the hole, the, the circle hole of the little bracket there that it comes with, and then you just take a short screw and washer, and it goes right through, and mounts right there and then once you have that screwed on then you can come down to the bottom and tighten that screw nice and tight there on the bottom of the bracket this is what the front mud flap from rally armor looks like on the car and the back one's a little bit wider that's how the back one fits looks very nice and now all four wheels have the mud flaps installed and I'm ready to go